Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming another Will I Buy It video. You guys know these are my favorite videos to film. The last one I filmed was June 8th. I can't believe how fast time goes by. You guys know I'm making this a series on my channel. I don't want to do it weekly, so I'm doing it every other week. So you should see one every two weeks on my channel and usually I'm going to upload on the weekend. So if there is an even number day in the weekend, that's usually when I'll upload it. So. Hopefully that kind of gives you guys an idea on what to expect, but the first thing I wanted to talk to you guys today about is an indie launch, and I had talked about this a little bit on my Instagram, but I do get a little bit of PR, not even a lot. I've gotten like two, three things in PR, and I just got my second PR package from this company. It's called Amy Hearts Beauty Cosmetics, and they just came out with this cute little set. Um, they're called Pride Pigments, eight shadows that are packed with pigments that go in smooth, will not crease or run. Every dollar from these pigments also benefits the LGBTQA plus community as well. Um, super cute. I can't wait to try these on my eyes. I just got this package. They do leak. Mine leaked a little bit. She said she hasn't heard that from anyone else, so I'm not really sure, but let me show you the shades really quick. We have... But I don't know how to say that one. Sorry. GLF is the purple. I'll write the name of the pink on there. Yeah, mine are so oily. Um, this is Mat Matashin. Matashin. Sorry. I'm I'm so sorry. <laughs> one Love. This beautiful blue. Um, I've got 2015. This looks like a pink red. Um, then I've got Fluidity, uh, which is gorgeous. Uh, this blue is beautiful. Looks like I lost the tag. And then this yellow is called No Labels. So I'm so excited to play with these. I believe they are available on her website. And you can use the code KH Makeup to get some money off. I think the code gives you 10%, but sometimes she has even better sales than 10%. So don't feel any pressure to use my code. Just find whatever deal is good for you guys. Totally in support of you saving money. She also does like happy hours and stuff so you can score tons of great deals. And then she has a new birthday collection. So this is the Amy Hearts Beauty My Beach is Better palette. So cute. And this is what the inside of the palette looks like. Oh shit. I just lost a shadow but uh, it didn't shatter. I can see it. It's on the carpet. Just need to glue that back on oh my god good thing i have super glue handy uh yeah i i'm filming a what's in my bag video that'll come up eventually so subscribe to my channel but oh my god these shades are gorgeous i'm so excited i have another palette i'm thinking i might do a giveaway or share it with one of my friends that also loves indie we'll see how it goes and then she's got these beautiful lippies uh so so gorgeous i am so excited to try this coconut milk situation um you guys know i love a red like this and then there's this bronzy color as well as this beautiful sea glass shade um which is like a purple blue situation and i know a lot of you are into that so i got a lot to play with i believe this collection is available on her website so you can purchase I will leave the website down below in case you guys are interested. Very, very small indie brand. I believe she's got like, as I'm filming this, she has 2,981 followers on Instagram. So if any of you have the time, please go and follow her so she can get to 3,000. That would be so amazing, you guys. Oh my gosh, speaking of 3,000, we hit 3,000 subscribers on my channel. Big shout out to you guys for subscribing. Oh my gosh, I've been on YouTube for like 11 years or something ridiculous. I have always uploaded like on and off and I started uploading more consistently of like a year or two ago. And so it feels really cool to hit 3,000. I just want to take the time to say thank you to you guys. I do want to do a giveaway, but you guys know me. I'm always slow. I need to find time to get my shit together. I tried to do a giveaway of the Huda palette on my channel, the extra one that Sephora sent me, and I messaged the winner. I left a comment saying, you won, email me, and she never emailed me. And so now I'm like, do I pick another winner from that video? Or I think I should just do separate giveaway videos. It's just easier for me to keep track. I don't really like to use like a go to this website, follow me. 
I don't know, is it called Gleam? I know people use Gleam. I've never experienced it and it seems like a lot of work. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Give me ideas for giveaways. Should I just keep doing it the way I do it? Should I just use Gleam? Is it easier than trying to keep track of comments? I don't know. It's so hard. I'm so sorry. These are my internet struggles. Anyway, there will be a giveaway soonish. I might just do a combination of some palettes um, that I've been saving up and just do one giveaway video. So keep an eye out for that. I'm sorry. I'm just like making announcements in the middle of the whole situation. Amy Hart's Beauty is great and I would encourage you guys to check it out. I'm really, really excited to try out that palette. There will be a video with first impressions for you guys. Okay, and then the other thing, I really didn't have too much to talk about with indie brands. I didn't see a whole lot of action from the indie community, but I also don't follow like every indie brand, so you know, I could just be behind. The other thing I'm so, so excited about was Sydney Grace, those sneaky, sneaky guys over at Sydney Grace. They posted a little sneaky peeky of a palette, I think. It says, a sneak peek of our new palette. We got a lot of comments about getting a little sneak peek of the packaging. Um, the packaging is still being made, so I don't have time for when we'll... I don't have a time for when we'll be releasing them yet. Can anyone guess the name of the palette? Leave your guesses below. Um, this was June 12th, so I'm excited to see what their new palette might be. You guys know I love the Autumn Rain palette. It's in here. It's in my top stuff drawer. Like, I have a drawer full of palettes that are like my Holy Grail palettes. And it's in there. And it was such good quality. So I'm so excited to see what this is. Especially because the packaging is like Hint of Mauve. And it makes me think like, are we doing some like neutrally mauve pinks and shimmers? And maybe like some whites? Like, I'm here for it, Sydney Grace. Give it to me. Okay, so those are the two indie things I wanted to talk about today. Now let's get on to trend mood. So Nabla just sneak peeked their full summer collection and there's going to be two mini eyeshadow palettes. There's a cutie patootie and like a purpley reddish themed one. There's also going to be some lip glosses, an eye brush set, and a makeup bag. This will be available on July 4th. Um, it's beautiful, but I don't know guys. I was like so into ordering from brands overseas and I think I just like, I'm so overwhelmed. I have so many palettes so it really, 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 really has to call to me for me to want something and then spend money on shipping. So for right now, I don't really feel like I need these but I think they're so cute and I know people that love Nabla are going to be lining up for those two little mini palettes. Um, KKW launched her body collection. There is a Skin Perfect Body Foundation for $45, um, Skin Perfecting Body Shimmer, Loose Shimmer Powder for face and body, and a body brush. I And oh, some other stuff too. The body foundation actually looked really good. I saw Trend Mood testing it on her Instagram stories and low-key like it looked like it worked. Like no shade to Trend Mood, man. Like, or KKW because sometimes I'm like, mmm. Kim, like, ugh, should you really be making makeup? But I swear there's some good stuff, like some hidden gems in her lineup. So yeah, I, I thought it looked like it really worked. Am I gonna go buy it? No, because I don't need to put foundation on my limbs. Um, but I think like, hey, if you're like a bride, why not? Like give it a shot, try it out, test it out before your wedding. Trend Mood made it look like it was, um, transfer proof so I'm I'm like a believer in what I saw. Jeffree Star did launch his summer collection today. I'm so excited. I was honestly like so unsure of what I wanted. Like I really wanted the highlighting palette but I didn't really think I would use the shade cold shoulder or freeze tag so I ended up skipping that but I got the makeup bag which was so cute and some other goodies so look forward to a video on that guy. And uh, if you want a video right now, my friend Annette from Annette's Makeup Corner already has a first impression type video up on her channel. Um, oh, and then ColourPop launched their summer collection. It's called California Love. Um, this included some new ultra blotted lipsticks, um, some volumizing mascaras, the new ones in Brownie Points and Lover's Coral, and California Love eyeshadow palette. So I actually, I don't know, I, I'm like, I love neutrals and then I went like full-blown color and now I'm like 
some days I'm colorful, some days I'm neutral. Like today's look is very neutral. Yesterday I was wearing a green smoky eye. Like I really love to go back and forth and I don't mind picking up color pops um, eyeshadow palettes because they're so affordable. So this one was super cute. I love the shades. I can see this being like a great everyday neutral palette for, you know, the everyday girl. And like I said, or I say all the time, I love the ultra blotted lips. So I did pick up one of those. I also ended up picking up um, Kathleen Light's new blushes, which we'll talk about soon. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited for that order to come. Okay, BH Cosmetics just launched a new collab. This is a collab with Tina Young, and it's a palette with eyeshadows, highlighters, and flow four blushes for $24. So I was on like a huge BH kick, and thank God that feeling has kind of passed. I was buying more palettes from BH than I knew what to do with, so I've like since then like overcome that impulse and I haven't bought anything from them recently so I'm okay with that and I think this is a beautiful palette and I'm so happy that they collaborated with somebody that not everyone knows um, but I don't need to buy it so I feel great about that. This new makeup uh, revolution collection called Wild Animal is so cute. I don't think I like Makeup Revolution's eyeshadow formula uh, but this palette concept is so cute like they're doing some brushes some palettes and yeah it's so so cute these are all 15 bucks a pop and the packaging is to die for and it says it'll be coming soon to Ulta Beauty oh and then Colourpop also launched some well they did a launch with Kathleen Lights and they did singles of their Zodiac palette with Kathleen I bought the Zodiac palette but I didn't enjoy it so I I think I sold it on Poshmark. I don't think I have it anymore. Um, so I am the last person on earth that would ever buy the singles, but I can totally see people that are really into Zodiac um, really falling for the gimmicky packaging and buying it. She also launched four blushes with them and I was so excited for these. So I picked up two of them because I love a good shimmery bra blush. So I bought My Sun and Stars and So Retrograde and I'm so excited for those to come. Very, very excited, actually. Um, Morphe launched a new highlighter palette. It's called the 8Z Star Blazer Highlighter Palette for $22. Includes eight highlighters glow all out with explosive prismatic effects. Sultry lit radiance shine. I honestly think this is cute. Like, 22 bucks, and it's already out, so you can pick it up. I like that it's all neutral shades. I feel like these are, like, easy, universally flattering, like, no must, no fuss. So I can see people wanting to get that, and uh, hopefully it's good. I've never tried a Morphe highlighter formula, but... I don't know, 22 bucks for eight shades? That's a pretty good deal. So Laura came out with a tantalized Hustle and Glow baked bronzer and highlighting palette for $25 as well as a shimmering face and body dry oil for $28. I used to love Lorac so so much. At one point I was buying everything from them but I've gotten so far away from that brand like but it's okay like I'm not I don't mind it's it is what it is but it's a very meh launch um, so I'm obviously passing on that. KKW announced a collaboration with Winnie Harlow if you guys don't know who she is, she is a model and she has, I don't even know if you would call it a skin condition, but she has like, um, almost like albinoism, but like it's in certain parts of her skin. Um, but she was on America's Next Top Model and I believe she's Canadian, but, um, yeah, they're collaborating and I think that's really, really cool, um, way to go for Kim, again, for picking somebody that's not one of our sisters, um, that's not a distant relative, like, I think that's really cool that she just picked somebody else from the beauty community or, you know, from, like, somebody outside of her inner circle. I think that's really cool. Okay, Norwina tweeted, I was thinking would you guys be excited about a second Norwina palette launching in the future? I'm probably thinking about it as it's right around the one year anniversary. That was such a special moment. Might want to create more of me again. Um, so that's exciting. I, you know, I love a good Anastasia palette, so I will definitely be keeping my eye out on that. Sneak peek, Sephora, this is what is coming. Uh, Makeup Forever is doing a reboot foundation. It looks like it says it brightens, smooths, firms, hydrates, evens out. I've never found a Makeup Forever shade that worked 
for my skin tone. Uh, not because I haven't tried and I've never really been in love with their formula. So I'm glad they're coming out with another foundation, but I don't think this one is for me. Uh, this is really cool. Blush Tribe is coming out with or has already launched, I think, a um, all green, like green yellow eyeshadow palette. It's called the Lila 2 by Blush Drive. It has eight mattes and seven shimmers. It looks really beautiful. I have so many green eyeshadow palettes. I definitely don't need this one, uh, but it's cute. And I have a lot of stuff from Blush Drive, so, you know, I haven't had a problem with it. So, yeah, you guys should check it out if you're on the hunt for a palette. Mm -hmm. Juno & Co. is coming out with another shade of their microfiber sponge. I just bought the blue ones on Amazon, and they're okay. I wouldn't say, like, you need to go get them right now, uh, but they're okay. Disney and Sir John and Luminous launched their collection, and I was actually out of town when this collection launched, and I didn't have very good reception, and I was like, should I order the PR kit? Should I not order the PR kit? Like, I was low-key obsessed. I love Sir John and the work he does with Beyonce, but I was really apprehensive about trying it um, trying something new from a new brand that I hadn't really heard of and a lot of you had told me that it was an MLN multi-level marketing MLM not MLN um, so I was a little bit nervous because I wasn't really sure what I was getting myself into and then I saw that they were selling it at Ulta and I was like perfect like I can I can do Ulta. Ulta's not gonna do me dirty. There's an Ulta store down the street. Like I can go return it if I don't like it, if it like has metal in it or fuzz from, you know, white gloves. <laughs> I can return it. So I bought the palette. I'm actually wearing the palette today. I've worn it twice already and I love the palette so far. Okay, love is a strong word. I'll say like I really, really like. Like on a scale of like one to 10, it's like an eight. <laughs> so unless all the other shades suck, I'm gonna really enjoy that palette and I will talk about it soon, but it's really good. Okay, here is something I am so looking forward to. I li I'm gonna start saving for this collection now because it's gonna be so expensive, but um, we finally have the launch of the Pat McGrath Skin System and she's doing a foundation with 36 shades for $68 which will probably make it the most expensive foundation I've ever bought. 35 ml satin finish, sheer to medium, buildable coverage for fresh, natural looking skin, self setting. It has a serum like feel and a diamond powder to diffuse light. There are five shade families, deep, deep, medium, 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 light, light. She applies it with her hands like a moisturizer. That'll be interesting. Setting powder, $55. Powder has a diamond core technology. Gives skin radiance and blur imper blurs imperfections in five shades that correspond to each of the foundation shades families. A $60 primer infused with hydrating hyaluronic acid. It helps to prevent water loss and leaves behind a smooth, velvety finish. And then two face brushes, a foundation brush for, brush for $55 and a proud brush for $58, even though she just told us she uses a hand to apply the foundation. Anyway, this will all launch on July 26th at Pat, Ma at Pat McGrath as well as Sephora. So I'm definitely going to wait until it comes to Sephora to buy it. I would love to be one of the first reviews out there, but I'm also not toying with like $200. Uh, if something doesn't work for me, I want to be able to return it. So... I'm gonna wait until it comes to Sephora. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> uh, ColourPop launched a huge box of lipsticks, 48 lipsticks, 10 new shades, $150, oh my God. Uh, if you bought this, you must really like the lippy sticks. That's all I have to say about that. Okay, Tarte just dropped a new collection. It's called the Unleashed Eyeshadow Palette. And a travel size Big Ego Mascara uh, comes with it for $39. 15 shades, matte and metallic. Bunch of other stuff. It's cool. I like that Tarte is stepping outside of their comfort zone. Am I going to run and buy this? Absolutely not. But I am happy for them. Milani launched two new palettes. I don't know if I talked about this in my last video, uh, but they are 16 shades, $19.99. There's Gilded Moir and a Gilded Rouge. Um, these seem to be like all shimmer palettes. I did see they are available on Ulta. And I was low-key like eyeing it, but I'm like, I really don't need to spend 20 bucks on an eyeshadow palette that is all shimmers. I have so many shimmer shades, so I'm passing on it, but I think it's really beautiful. Um, if I see it at, like, Walmart, maybe I'll buy it because Walmart sometimes sells stuff cheaper than Milani on their site does. So keep my eyes out for that. 
Charlotte Tilbury is launching some beautiful lippies. These come in refillable like containers. And so there's five different patterns that are so, so cute. And she's got how many different, 11 new lipsticks and they are already launched. I feel like these are gonna be pricey. I'm not a fan of traditional lipsticks. I have a few that I love from Pat McGrath, NARS, ColourPop. I don't need to buy more, so I'm good on that. Violet Voss launched a cute little mini palette. It's called the I Do Not Care palette. It includes 10 shades for $18. I actually bought this palette and I did do a little swatch party video, so if you guys wanna see that, I will try and remember to link that for you guys. Dose of Colors launched a new collection of High Shine lip glosses. These are so gorgeous. Eight new shades for $17. I really like the look of these, um, but again, I like lip gloss, but I don't need like 80 of them. I have like a few, two Pat McGrath ones that I love. Um, I also love Kylie's ones that she originally launched. I bought a few of those and that's good enough for me. Wet n Wild did do a collab with Pac-Man. This is honestly really, really cute. I know they've been on the hot seat lately for some controversies and that is really unfortunate because I know a lot of people stopped supporting them. I still think this is adorable despite all of that and that little blush palette looks and yeah, I think it'll be interesting if I see that one in person. I might uh, I might pick some stuff up because I'm curious plus Wet n Wild is very affordable so um, it's cool that they're doing cool things. Okay guys, that is everything for my Will I Buy video. I don't think there was that many crazy things announced so far. The only thing I feel like I'm waiting for, like anticipating, is the Pat McGrath Foundation System, um, the Sydney Grace palette for whenever that's coming out, and the other thing I'm waiting for is my ColourPop order and my Jeffree Star order. Other than that, there's nothing really that I've been like dying to get. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I'm gonna get off and go ahead and edit this so I can upload it tomorrow, which is today when you're watching this. Hi, <laughs> hope you guys are having a fun Saturday. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Um, not tomorrow, so not Sunday. I'm gonna upload on Monday for you guys. So I will catch you soon. Bye guys!